Hello Eagle Targeters, welcome back to our channel, where we consistently deliver the latest and fastest updates in the field of current military affairs. The Italian army emphasizes that the AW249 is a completely new aircraft designed for multi-domain operations, featuring a fully digital architecture and significantly superior performance compared to its predecessor, the A129, which was developed in the 1970s primarily for anti-tank missions. The A129 Mangusta evolved into the H129D combat helicopter, but its service life is nearing its end. In 2027, the first seven AW249 helicopters will arrive at the Army Aviation Training Center in Viterbo for crew and technician training before entering operational service. The AW249's design requirements include interoperability, connectivity, multi-domain integration, all-weather high-speed and maneuverability, lethality, accuracy, crewed uncrewed teaming, survivability, logistical sustainability, supportability, and open architecture with substantial growth potential. While detailed information is limited, Leonardo, the manufacturer, indicates that some subsystems are currently undisclosed by the Army. Visually, the AW249 resembles a conventional attack helicopter with a tandem cockpit, main and tail rotors, and stub wings for weapon payloads. It shares many dynamic components with the AW149, but with a slightly adapted transmission to handle more power. The AW249, with a maximum takeoff mass of 8,300 kg, is lighter than the AW149 and equipped with two General Electric CT7-80-6 engines providing significant power. Its features include an integral infrared suppressor and an auxiliary power unit for operational autonomy. The helicopter's performance metrics include a VNE of 167 knots, a maximum cruise speed of 155 knots, and a climb rate of 2,350 foot min. It has a maximum payload of 2,800 kilograms, an endurance of 4 hours 5 minutes, and a range of 430 nautical miles the AW249 can hover at 12,000 feet and has a flight ceiling of 20,000 feet. The AW249 marks a significant upgrade over the AH-129D, with a 91% increase in maximum takeoff mass, 155% increase in payload, 59% increase in range, and 12% increase in maximum speed. It features a more integrated landing gear, wider dimensions, and a more spacious, CBRM-protected cockpit designed for greater crew comfort. The cockpit is equipped with a 20-inch main touchscreen and advanced avionics. The helicopter's avionics and sensors are designed for enhanced situational awareness and all-weather operation, including LiDAR, millimetric wave radar, infrared sensors, and a low-light TV camera. These feed into an onboard computer to create a synthetic 3D image for navigation and landing in poor visibility. The system supports augmented reality for navigation and weapon data, and the crew can manage multiple data streams on both the main touchscreen and helmet displays. Connectivity is ensured by a suite of radios and data links, including software-defined radios, Tactical Data Link 16, and SATCOM. The AW249 also features an advanced observation and targeting system, battle management system, and long-range weapons like the Spike ER-2 and Hydra-70 rockets. The AW249 will operate alongside unmanned systems, with different levels of interoperability for tactical and strategic UAS. Currently, two AW249 prototypes are in flight testing with more to follow. The development program includes rigorous testing in various conditions, with plans for further enhancements based on AI to improve operational capabilities and logistics.
Italy plans to order 48 AW249 helicopters, which will be deployed with the 5th Rigel and the 7th Vega Army Aviation Regiments. To maximize the helicopter's potential, the Army will revise its tactics, techniques, and procedures for operating in the multi-domain battlefield environment. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, this show can broaden the knowledge for you and your family. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to help grow this channel even bigger.